Hello folks, this is 2008, October, November, paper 1. So at the time there weren't any varieties, only one variety, so it's just paper 1. And the question number is 5. It is concerned with uh, the calibration of a faulty emitter, which is shown like this. So here we have got uh, true current in the x-axis and uh, uh, the reading shown by the emitter in the y-axis, uh, which, which might not be true. So as you can see here, uh, when the true current is uh, zero, the emitter is showing some current. So if I calibrate the things, what we have is, it will be uh, 0 0.2 uh, ampere, it will be 0 0.4 ampere, 0 0.6 ampere, 0 0.8 ampere. So it is uh, 0 0.2 ampere, 0 0.4 ampere, 0 0.6 ampere, and again 0 0.8 ampere. So, uh, what do we have now is, uh, which emitter reading will be nearest to the current value? So, we have to uh, find which emitter reading this will be same as the uh, true current here. Or we can say uh, vice versa. So, if you go uh, to this reading, for example, here, when true current is 0, uh, the emitter reading is about uh, 0 0.1 or uh, 0 0.08 ampere. So, this is not true. So similarly, if we have got uh, 0 0.2 ampere uh, reading shown by the emitter, at that time this true current is about, uh, maybe it is a 0 0.1 or 0 0.8 again. So if you go through the graph like this, at this point, at this very point, what you have is, uh, the true current is 0 0.8 ampere and the emitter reading is also 0 0.8 ampere. So this seems to be, seems to be the correct choice, correct choice. If we go through other choices, uh, they can't be correct because here it is uh, 0.6 true current, but uh, the reading shown by the emitter is 0 0.7. Here we have got uh, about uh, uh, 0 0.4 true current, but the emitter reading will be about slightly less than uh, 0 0.6. And everywhere else also, it's the same case. So the only correct answer is choice number D.